Alrighty, everybody, I've seen your comments, whether that be on my YouTube channel, Dave's YouTube channel, my Instagram, Dave's Instagram. You guys are wondering if I still work for Heavy D, which is a fair question to have because obviously I haven't been in much of his content lately. So I am here to say that our friendship has gone through some evolutions over the last few months. I'm going to break those down and walk you guys through why you haven't seen me in any of his videos lately and the plans going forth. Now the purpose of this video is to not talk bad about Dave at all. I have enormous amounts of respect for the guy. I look up to him in many ways and there's no doubt that he's had a huge impact in my life even before I ever even worked for him. So a quick recap, I started working for Dave in May of 2019 and so many stars had to align for me to get a position working for him that that's a pretty cool story and if you guys haven't seen my other video explaining how I got a job with Dave in the first place I would highly encourage you guys to check that video out because it was quite the adventure going from as you know me as a Florida man coming out to Utah and getting a job with Dave and everything in between there so once I did land a job with Dave as you can imagine my life became quite an adventure I learned so many things, so many things I've always wanted to learn, whether that be shop skills, I got doused in an environment with a bunch of hardcore blue collar guys that really toughened me up and also shared a ton of their skills with me. I was surrounded by awesome mentors that cultivated my skills in the shop, whether that be fabrication and welding, mechanic work, computer design, whole wide variety of skills that I always wanted to learn. I got to learn on the job and I was super thankful for that opportunity. And then one thing about me, is growing up, it was always my goal to work for myself. However, working for Dave Sparks was a really close second place in my mind, and he was like the one guy in the world that I'd be stoked to work for as a stepping stone to eventually working for myself in the future. And like I said, Dave really made an impact on my life even before working for him, because I was a fan of the TV show and following him on Instagram and whatnot, but it was really when he started the Heavy Checklist podcast in December of 2018 that... I would say my life kind of changed. Through the podcast, Dave definitely opened my eyes to personal development and really believing in myself that I can chase after my dream life and actually achieve all these ambitions that I had growing up. For example, through the heavy checklist, Dave taught me about vision boards, which I had never heard of before. So I made a vision board, and here's something really cool, you guys. This is on my vision board. It says 100K YouTube subs, and I made that April 11th, 2019. Now this was back when I was still in college, not really knowing what I was doing with my life. So it was really cool that YouTube was on my mind back then and Dave influenced me to put a goal of 100,000 YouTube subscribers on my vision board to hope to one day achieve. And at the recording of this video, I'm at like 98,000 subscribers. So it's, it's crazy to see the progression over these last three and a half years since adding that to my vision board to where I got a job with Dave, who now has a very successful YouTube channel that I really enjoyed seeing all the behind the scenes work that goes into a very successful YouTube channel. So to be able to be immersed in that environment while also cultivating all these hands-on skills that I wanted to learn is really the best foundation I could have asked for for the future I want going forth. So I would definitely say that my first two years working for Dave was heaven on earth. I was the happiest guy in the world. I was growing immensely, meeting a bunch of new cool people, learning all these skills that I always wanted to learn, plus a bunch more skills that are going to be super applicable for my future. And I'm definitely a firm believer that personal happiness is closely tied to personal growth. I like to see things moving in my life and progressing. So the first two years working for Dave definitely had a ton of growth and it was very exciting, very fast paced. But I'll say around the two year mark, I kind of learned all the shop skills that I wanted to learn. A lot of the coworkers I grew close with that taught me all these skills kind of drifted away from working for Dave. So my rate of growth definitely slowed down. And I kind of got in a rut working for Dave where I didn't feel like I was growing that much anymore. And the job certainly stayed exciting, especially with Dave ramping up his YouTube involvement. And he involved me a lot with that. And I really liked the YouTube stuff. So I don't want to sound ungrateful for having a pretty exciting job, but as far as for myself, I didn't feel like I was growing at a rate that was supportive of my happiness. And I knew that all these ambitions, these large goals I had for myself, that Dave really helped to instill the belief in myself that I could achieve one day, 
I knew they weren't going to ever be accomplished by just being an employee for Dave and that eventually I'd have to break away and do my own thing and uh, finally realize that dream of working for myself. And I'll say that even when I first got a job with Dave, he saw that in my eyes and it was understood by both of us that, that eventually I would go out and do my own thing one day. However, with how all these stars aligned get me in the door in the first place working for Dave, it was extremely clear that it was God's will for me to be there, but it was also extremely clear that eventually that would come to an end one day. So trying to navigate the transition was very difficult to me. It was very unclear on when would be the right time to leave Dave. Now keep in mind, I did work for Dave for three and a half years before things kind of changed up a little bit. And that change up happened this past August. And I would say that in those last 15 months working for Dave, uh, hints started rolling in that were making me more uncomfortable in my current situation and kind of prepping me for a change. Things like not feeling like I was growing very fast, things like maybe some drama between coworker relationships in the shop, maybe frustrations to Dave's wild scheduling with all the crazy stuff he tries to jam pack. That's super fun at the beginning, but it can, uh, it can wear you down after a little bit. And also just an overarching feeling that maybe I'm not using my time as effectively as I could towards building my goals because I'm putting so much of my effort and time into working for Dave and progressing his goals along and trying my best into being a good employee for Dave, even though all these other things are kind of wearing down on me. And eventually things just built up to where I wasn't really enjoying where I was in life anymore. This got compounded by having some job offers flow into my life that were offering me like more than double what Dave was paying me for doing the same kind of work. That was wearing down on me because I was wondering if I was really applying myself and my efforts and my hours and my life on this earth in a way that was the most effective. So after being super depressed in college to running out west, getting a job with Dave, spiking to a higher level of happiness than I have ever had before, and then gradually getting more and more exciting as I'm growing, you know, kind of a bumpy roller coaster of just wild experiences, to then that finally leveling off and then tapering down to where perhaps me being an employee for Dave wasn't the best use of my life anymore. And perhaps it was no longer suiting my long-term goals like I needed it to be. So it really got to a point where I was really dragging into work. It was hard to stay motivated to work hard to where it just felt like the days working for Dave weren't propelling me to my personal goals in life. And I don't wanna sound ungrateful for all this, because working for Dave full time for a little over three years was the most amazing foundation I could have ever asked for. As far as giving me everything I needed to know to achieve the future that I wanted for myself. But after all said and done, I just kind of grew burnt out and I wasn't feeling fulfilled working for Dave anymore. So August of 2022, earlier this year, I approached Dave and we have a conversation discussing the future of me working for him. And I just wanna, I don't have any goal in mind as to where I want the conversation to land, but I am prepared to do whatever needs to be done to change my current situation, even if that meant quitting. Cause I just grew fundamentally unhappy of where I was in life at that point. So I kind of expressed my concerns to Dave and Dave kind of responded to where if I'm not fully committed to the team and my heart's not in it anymore, that we should just work on phasing me out of the company as quickly as possible. So that was quite an abrupt ending because it wasn't any sort of two weeks notice or anything. Basically at the end of that conversation, me and Dave didn't really see a, a, a way forward for me to continue working for him that made both of us happy. So things kind of came to an abrupt end right there. Now that wasn't the end of me working for Dave as I'll discuss several evolutions that happened after that. But as far as at that point in time goes, now I don't have a job. I don't really want to take any of these other job offers because really what's on my mind is I want to be a full-time YouTuber in the future. That's my dream job. So I was able to live pretty cheaply working for Dave and save up a little bit of savings that could sustain me through this transition while I figured out how to become a full-time YouTuber. Obviously I had a YouTube channel already going. Dave helped me build that up, gave me a few shout outs along the way that definitely helped to 
jumped my subscriber base. So I'm super thankful for his help in getting my YouTube channel off the ground. And it was certainly not bringing in anywhere near the money that Dave was paying me. So I really needed to focus on growing this YouTube channel and I have enough, had enough savings to carry me through that transition until the channel got more profitable and I could hopefully live off it full time. So during this like three week time frame after kind of quitting working for Dave, what was forefront on my mind is I need a shop to work out of. A great perk of working for Dave is you can work on all your personal projects after hours in his shop with all his tools. So that's really awesome that he lets his employees do that. But now I'm no longer an employee and my skills are rather useless if I don't have a, a workplace to get my hands dirty and put them to work. So while I was on the search for looking for an affordable shop to move into and work on my YouTube channel, I did have a little bit of content stored up. This came in the form of my tire I built that we rolled in, which I kind of thought that video was gonna blow up. And I was really hoping for that video to bring in a little chunk of money to get me through this transition. But that video kind of flopped. And I also had the Quadruli video, which I didn't think that was a super great video, but it ended up overperforming my expectations. So all in all, I had those videos to carry me through this transition to where I wasn't able to really produce any new content, but at least the channel didn't have to go completely dormant without content. So after talking with people that have shops, people who knew people who had shops, I eventually was able to land in a shop that is still in Utah, which I was stoked about because I do love Utah. It was, it was very affordable to rent. So it was really perfect for me to move in and continue working on my own YouTube projects. It had a MIG welder, a TIG welder, a little plasma cutter, and all the basic tooling and workspace that I needed to keep the ball rolling with my YouTube. So I was super thankful to have a place to work. And I was really stoked to kind of be on track to being a full-time YouTuber. However, around that same time frame, me and Dave hadn't talked for several weeks, but he reached out out of the blue, invited me along to a recovery. So I ended up joining the team on this recovery and it was great to see everybody. It was great to, uh, you know, maintain the friendship with Dave because I didn't really know what he thought of me. It seemed that after our big conversation, we kind of left on kind of bad terms, even though I try my best to not end on bad terms with him. So, so I was really happy to hear from him and get an invite to recovery. So I joined on this recovery and that kind of started a new evolution between me and Dave where I kind of started working for him part-time. I would basically just join on recoveries and I could spend the rest of my week working on my own YouTube stuff, building my own YouTube channel. So things ended up stumbling into a really nice balance that I was really happy with because I still got to hang out with Dave and the crew and I had plenty of time to work on my own stuff. So this went on for a little while. Uh, I probably did eight or nine recoveries with them just in this part-time system. Now the pay still wasn't that great for these days I was joining them, but nevertheless it was sustainable because I still had a lot of time to work on my own YouTube stuff. However, you guys may remember the Big Iron series on Dave's YouTube channel. So that was a, a very extensive recovery of pulling all this big equipment off a mountain. And as usual, Dave sent me out a text saying, hey, we got this upcoming recovery. You want to join? I was like, yeah, sure. I'll join. So I went to the first two days of this big iron recovery and that was going all right. And we camped out the first two days. Then we came home and then Dave texted me to make sure I was ready to go out again the next day to which I replied that I felt like I was disrespecting myself to leave behind my YouTube, which keep in mind, it had been growing pretty good. And the opportunities on my own YouTube channel were, were really starting to take off. And I got to the point of replacing my former income and the ball was really rolling on my own YouTube channel. So I told Dave I was, I was struggling to leave behind everything I had going on on my YouTube channel to come help him on these days that wasn't really supporting and getting me closer to my goals. And it was sustainable when it was just, you know, a couple recoveries a month I was joining on, but then he wanted me for like a week or two straight. And I told him that I, I couldn't make that make sense to me, given what I was getting paid and given the opportunity I'd be leaving behind on my YouTube channel. So that kind of brought an end to that evolution. Um, again, we didn't really see a, a way going forth. 
that would make sense to both of us. So that happened probably four or five, maybe six weeks ago. And I stopped hearing from Dave. I just went back to focusing 100% on my YouTube channel, which I'm super happy to do anyways. I'm super thankful for the opportunity to have a successful little YouTube channel that is able to support me and work as hard as I can to start seeing that, that rate of growth that I wanna see in my life. Because now that my YouTube's growing and the future is looking bright in that department, that my rate of growth in life is climbing at a faster pace than when I was just working for Dave that last year. And so I'm definitely a lot happier now. Um, I have a lot more peace now and I'm super excited for what the future has to offer. However, as far as me and Dave goes, I hadn't heard from him for five weeks or whatever. So I didn't know if we were still friends or not. However, a few days ago, I got a text out of the blue from Dave inviting me on a recovery, which I, I couldn't go on because I was busy filming my own stuff, but it was at least nice to hear from him. I still don't know what the future holds. I, uh, I've kind of held off on updating you guys with all of this just because things were very uncertain over these last few months on what things are going to look like with me and Dave, but it seems now that things are settling into a more predictable future where I'm going to be giving it all on my own YouTube channel. I don't think this will be the end of you guys seeing me on Dave's channel. It might just be in a very limited fashion, or I certainly believe there's going to be room for collaborations in the future if Dave wants to. But what I do know going forth, and what I can promise you guys is that I'm going to work as hard as I can and will never quit in the pursuit of bringing you guys the best content that I can. So I am super thankful for all of you that are subscribed and being such a great foundational base for this YouTube channel. Uh, I understand that maybe some of you guys were just subscribed to kind of see a behind the scenes take of Dave's operations. So I'm not really able to show you guys videos of builds of Dave's projects anymore or any sort of Dave related content really. So if any of you guys feel it necessary to unsubscribe at this point, I'm very grateful for your time we have spent together. But as for the rest of you guys, I have huge plans for this YouTube channel. I'm really excited to take it in the direction I intend to take it. I think you guys are gonna be really excited for the content to come. Cause right now I'm just in the beginning stages of a YouTube channel in which I'm forced to just try to make the best content I can on a budget. Although lots of YouTube channels are doing this. So I feel like this is the hardest time in a YouTube channel to make content when you're, cause the, cause the market is so saturated of trying to come up with good ideas that don't cost a lot of money. I feel like I've been doing a decent job of that. I've definitely had a lot of fun with that, with the little projects we've done along the way. And I'm really excited to hopefully grow this channel bigger to where we can have some, some serious work and capital to pump into making videos, because I have some huge ideas that I hope to take you guys along the ride with. So hopefully this video does a decent job of answering your guys' questions as to why I'm not as involved with Dave's stuff anymore, as well as the future intentions of this channel. Just again, for those of you that have joined me today and along this journey up to this point, super thankful for having you guys in my life. And I'm excited to see what comes next on this journey.